Oh, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. see? I think when I was able to go to California, fly out there and place in the top three of a national event, all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, I might actually be good at this game. It was called Genesis 1, actually, the first Genesis. And that was the first time the meeting of the waters of all the international communities came to one place. I think that term was hosted in like an airplane hangar or something with like 300 people, but it was still one of the most unique experiences and I'll never forget it. But once I got third place there, I thought maybe I could actually be a world threat in this game. Um, I think the moment I realized like gaming could you know really be something for me was uh, NBA 2K16. They had a $250,000 tournament called Road to the Finals. Oh wow! Um, only 16 teams qualified on each console, so it's like a very small group of guys can you know be on that platform to showcase what they can do. So once I was playing in that tournament and you know my team actually won some games, I was like, okay, you know this is this could be something. And then once they announced the NBA 2K League. I was like, this is really something. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is something now. That's definitely an amazing feeling to like have your skill validated by a bigger entity. That's like amazing. What if so all those tournaments were online pretty much? Yeah, dude, like what if your teammates like internet cut out? You guys was gonna dog on him I for mean, a moment? <laughs> host booting was a big thing. Like I, I, I got host booted, which is my, my IP was flooded, so I kicked me offline in the middle oh, of the game. And there's sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Like some tournaments say, you just gotta play on 4v5. That's what's crazy. Smash, we never ever would do an online tournament. Well, there's there's tournaments, but like low stakes, like mm -hmm. 100 bucks, but like a national, it's like 0% chance of it being online. Yeah, the, the $250,000 tournament is online. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, so land tournaments weren't really big in 2K until I'd say the league came out. Mm -hmm. And everybody started meeting in, uh, in person for the first time. Isn't there, what if there's lag? Oh, there's lag. You gotta, you gotta play through it. You don't know how stingy we are in Smash? If a TV... Oh, it, it hurts. We play on CRTs. You know what those are? Cathode rate televisions. They're probably the ones in your grandparents' house. They're this thick. They weigh like 40 pounds. We play on those because they're analog. Because if we play on a monitor, there's two milliseconds or one millisecond of input lag, and even that is too much for us. That's how stingy we are in Smash. It's pretty stingy. Yeah, but that's because if we we want to narrow down, if you're playing for that much money, you want to lower the amount of like random factors as much as possible. Because what if you win because you had one laggy match and you could have hit a combo, but a little bit of lag spiked right there and then you lost thousands of dollars. Yeah, I think my internet might have held me back a little bit. Yeah. See, you have, <laughs> we call those Johns, but those are legitimate Johns. The legitimate excuses as to why you lost. I would never play with lag. Hopefully you can maybe be an advocate for like pushing LAN games. Well, you know, we got the league now. The league is LAN. So it's LAN, in you know, Alienware monitors. Oh, the best. So there you go. You know, lag is definitely not an issue. Good, good. Like <laughs> it is when you play online tournaments. Yeah.